Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for LGBT Easy E. <laughs> Tito's had a number of odd jobs in his life. He had a short stint as a gay biker. After that, he coached a swim team, or as Americans call it, illegally immigrated to the United States. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this elf on a shelf looking ass bitch. <laughs> Look it. The only time he moves at night is when women aren't watching. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you! Here they go. Shut up. <laughs> hey, it's fine. I'm the elf on the shelf in this one. Uh, folks, put your hands together for Dora, the Age of Consent Explorer. <laughs> hey, you're the one that looks underage, bro. Yeah. That's why you like me so much. <laughs> right. oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that as a joke. I think that was good ben, enough. Yeah, Brandon, uh, your last name is Petri, like Petri dish. And just like a Petri dish, uh, he's a large clump of useless white cells that needs to be cultured. Uh, <laughs> his vibe's called tapioca. They sent me to take your culture, buddy. That's, uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, folks, keep it going for the Costa Rican Chris Angel. <laughs> Tito lost his sister when he was young, but he's actually come out of the situation with a more positive outlook because when a 91 Monte Carlo flips, it could have been any of the 17 of them. <laughs> Bro, how's your voice older than you? That's crazy. You sound disappointed. <laughs> this motherfucking femboy RD over here. <laughs> Can't grow a beard. And cause I think I found out why, cause at the bar he ordered an estrogen and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That means the world coming from South American Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Tito You also, only fly under the radar, bro. Shut up. Stop looking at my fly, Tito. Uh, Tito. Tito also shares a name with a famous cocktail, uh, Tito's and Soda. And that makes a lot of sense, because whenever Tito's booked on a show, he has to ask, Soda Show was canceled? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, hell yeah, he's, uh, uh, Brandon's got a black girlfriend, uh, which has changed his life because before that he was training to become a Dylan roofer. Yeah, yeah he just wanted to enter a room to see black life scatter. <laughs> yeah, look at him, shut up. <laughs> folks, folks, Tito dresses like an underground gay porn director. He publishes all of his work under the alias Ricky Martin Scorsese. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I look like I do magic and I put a spell on him called Inspecto Scorotum. <laughs> it's fucking Ellen DeGenderless over here. <laughs> you look like you go to the barber shop and get the Elliot Page or whatever that is. It's a good look for me. It's very good. <laughs> Does me wonders. <laughs> Tito is a landlord, and he's very conceited about it, which is why these days he's always rolling his hard R's. <laughs> Hell yeah, this pre-op RoboCop. Anyways, <laughs> you look like you roll your sleeves up before you eat pussy. <laughs> you look like you ask permission to cry. It's crazy. <laughs> Soft ass boy. All right. I may look like I asked permission to cry. Tito is Mexican, but he's soft Mexican. Like he joined MS-13, but only to teach their pottery class. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon looks like the guy that always cries after a fight. <laughs> he looks like when he gets angry, he goes, news flash, buddy. <laughs> it's safe for it's Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, give it up for these two, everybody. What? Good shit.
Brandon, that was awesome. Even though you look like you're gentrifying his neighborhood, that is... I'm trying to. He's the Damn. landlord. You gotta pay the rent. All right. Everybody. Hey, motherfuckers. Listen up. There's a Puerto Rican here. He gets crazy. Yell, Tito. Go on. Tell hey, him. Hey, man. Fuck you. That's crazy. No, no. He'll stab you. He will stab you. Yeah, yeah. I got with, guns. With his penis. Um, listen. Let's hear from the... Can we stop silencing women for three seconds? You pieces of shit. Morning from Katie Kincaid. What did you think of her? Oh man, that was that was fun. Uh, I I will say, if you're both here, who's hitting on minors at a skate park? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're both just keeping zoomies alive at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, that was fun. It was I. That was a real battle of the puns. I feel. Like. Yeah. We each had like way more than just seven jokes, and I always like to see. That's fun. Um, man, I feel like it was pretty like half and half. I love the elf on the shelf, the estrogen and tonic. Permission to cry from Tito. Brandon, uh, the the, uh, the soda show is canceled. Or what was that? Soda show is canceled. Ricky Martin for, for TV. It's uh yeah, I it was pretty even for me. I will say I think I like Brandon's jokes just like slightly more. So I'm gonna go with Brandon. Okay, Brandon gets one vote. Ravens on the board. What do you think? Hell yeah, like I did great. Uh, I love Tito Cortez, the Mexican. It's like a Mexican trying to get work outside of a hot topic. Uh, <laughs> brought my resume. The fingerless gloves I love. He's also wearing toeless socks, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> it's summertime. <laughs> he wants to commit crimes, but he wants to feel it. You know mm. what I mean? Like, In the soul. <laughs> Brandon, you look like you'd have a little table set up at a university asking people, Define what a woman is. <laughs> no one's done it. No one's done it. What does a real woman mean? Um, <laughs> all right, great, great rose. I do think Brandon barely got you, though, Tito. Brandon wins the battle. Give it up for Cleveland coming out here. Foreign territory to take a win on. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go, me. Let's go, Brandon. He's all around us, but in here it's still let's go Brandon. Let's go Max, Max, what is it? Poster, poster boy for, a, for any Republican. Yeah. What are you thinking, my friend? Um, Brandon, your voice is amazing, dude. It's your Frank, you're like a you're like an English dub on like an anime villain. <laughs> It's like that. It's crazy. Step to my power. Uh, Tito, you called him Elf on the Shelf, but you look like Puerto Rican Elf on the Shelf, which is just like a gay guy named El Fan de Shell. <laughs> Shut Who up. knows where I'm going to wake up tomorrow? Uh, that was so stupid. Yeah, don't laugh at that. <laughs> I think uh, Brandon was a little more consistent, uh, so I'm going to give him Brandon. Brandon, clean, sweet. Great job, guys. That was awesome. What a great guy. I'll give it up for these two. Wow. Brandon. Great job, buddy. You came home with the win for Cleveland. Let me ask, I was, I'm going to ask you a very similar question that I asked him. How many, How long have you been battling out in Cleveland? About three years. Three years. Okay, cool. So you've seen, during your tenure as a battler, you've seen a lot of like the roast battle league influence, right? What has been your, like, what has made you start roast battling and what's made you continue? I started roast battling because I had a podcast with one of my best friends and was contacted to roast my best friend and been in love with it ever since. I mean, you fucking had a great battle against like a tenured, I mean, a tenured Chicago guy. You, you outrode him um, and you, you took home the victory decidedly. You know, what does that say about the potential of the roast battle league being a legitimate thing where we're sending people out to do other cities? Does, are you hopeful for that? And would you do something like that again? Oh, of course. I mean, the opportunity to travel and roast is fantastic. Watching roast battlers just get better as a whole in any city is amazing. I'm all for increased productivity on the roast end, man. What was your favorite uh, joke that Tito had against you? The Elliot Page haircut thing was really funny because I'm going to like drive home thinking about that one, looking in the mirror going, damn it, uh, he's right, he's right. A beautiful transition that you had in, a, in an infuriatingly delicious voice. Thank you, Brandon. Taking on the win for Cleveland. Great work. I think that's a good afterburn, right? That's a good amount of time. Thank you uh, for joining us here. Uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber, I love you. I'll touch you. Uh, it really does mean a lot that you, that you give a shit about this as much as we give a shit about this. 
Thank you for doing it. Hopefully we'll do more uh, cross cross league stuff like we did tonight. Uh, fun show, weird show. Bustin Smith on the ones and twos as per usual, doing all the production stuff to make this happen. Um, I've been Chris. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.